how to use circular designs filled with gradients as smart objects to create amazing background designs in Photoshop. In this video, I'm using gradient layers. So go to layer menu, new fill layer and gradient. Give it a name, click OK and then go to the gradient panel and select one of the default gradient presets. To start with, I'm going to use the radial gradient type. Click OK. Now the entire document is filled with that gradient, but I really only want a small part of that gradient. So I'm going to use a mask. But before I do that, I'm just going to go and convert it into a smart object. Layer menu, smart objects and convert to smart object. The gradient displayed a mask. You could see it, that white box beside the gradient in the layers panel. The smart object, sadly, doesn't. You have to reveal it. So you have to go to the layer menu, layer mask and reveal all. Once you've done that, you will see this white box appear at the side of the smart object. That's the layer mask or the smart object mask. Select the mask thumbnail, then go over to the ellipse tool and set the mode to pixel, set the color to black and then go back to the image and then just draw that ellipse over the gradient, right in the central part of the image. You can see through to the background. Well, I don't want that. I want the inversion of that. So I'm just going to go to the image menu, adjustments and invert. Then you can see just the gradient and then the white background to the edge. I want to convert the whole thing now to a smart object. So go back to the original gradient, then go up to the layer menu and smart objects and convert to smart object. I want to duplicate that. So go to the layer menu again and then duplicate layer. Go to the edit menu and transform and scale. Set the value to 90% and apply. Then go to the layers panel and set the blending mode for that layer to difference. Layer menu and duplicate layer. Go to the edit menu and transform and scale. Set to 80%. Click OK. Then repeat the duplication and again edit, transform, scale, 70%, 60%, 50%, 40%, etc. Go to the layers panel and select all those smart objects. Once you've done that, go to the layer menu and then smart objects and convert to smart object. Now I want to apply a filter. I'm going to go to oil paint, filter menu and stylization and oil paint. Set the stylization and cleanliness to quite high values. Click OK. Once you've done that, go to the repeat filter and just keep applying this oil paint a number of times. Use the layer menu and duplicate layer or hold the Alt or Option key down and drag to duplicate that smart object. You can create multiple copies of that smart object and then you can place them all over the entire document. You can also resize and rotate that smart object using the bounding box. So you can create some variation in the design. Go to the layers panel and then select all of those smart objects, all those circles, and then go to layer menu and smart objects and convert to smart objects. The entire thing now is a smart object. Go to the filter menu and stylize and oil paint and apply the oil paint filter. Of course, you could apply other filters as well. Once you're happy with your effect, click OK. Go to the layers panel and the smart object and you'll see a little thumbnail there or icon. Double click on that. Repeat this with all of the documents. Just keep double clicking that small little thumbnail and then you go into the smart object each and every time. The smart objects are stored in PSB documents. You will eventually get down to the gradient layer. What you need to do then is double click on that gradient layer in the layers panel and then you can change the gradient, you can change the settings, you can change the type etc. Once you've decided on a gradient type, what you can do then is change the gradient itself. So click on that, you can move the stops, you can add stops, you can also remove the stops, you can also change the colour of the stops. So go in there, change the colours and then once you're happy with that, click OK and click OK again. I want another layer, another gradient layer. I could create a new fill layer, but I'm just going to go to 
Layer menu and duplicate layer. Go to the layers panel and the top entry and then double click on the gradient. Select a new gradient and click OK. Go to the layers panel, top layer entry and set the blending mode to lighten. Go to the layer menu and duplicate layer. Go back to the layers panel and then double click into the gradient. Bring up the gradient, change the gradient preset, maybe some of the other settings and then click OK. For that entry, go to the blending modes and set it to difference. You should have a nice combination of super colourful designs now. Close the document and save your work. Go back through all the documents and click the close and save the work. Repeat this all the way back to the start point. I've used the blending mode difference for all those circles. You don't have to do that. You can change it. Change it to lighten, darken, overlay, screen, etc. And you can create some really beautiful colour designs doing that. You can also add filters to your smart objects. Different filters for the different circles. You can also add different adjustments for each of the circles. You can also add different layer effects for each of the circles. You reach the final stage. That's not the end. You can always go back and change it all again. Just change the initial gradient or some of the smart objects in between. Before you do that, save your work to a library. I'm just going to run through it all again. So go over to the layers panel, go to that smart object thumbnail, double click on that and then repeat that with all of the documents. Double click, double click all the way through down to the gradient fills. Instead of using radial or diamond, etc. I'm going to use linear this time. Go to each of those gradient layers, change the type to linear. Also, you can change the preset, you can change the angle, change the length, the origin. You can also change the blending modes between the gradient layers. Once you're happy, click OK with each of those gradient fills. Go to the bottom entry and change all the gradient settings again. You can keep them the same or change them up to you. Once you're happy, click OK. You can also add multiple duplicates. So go to a layer menu and duplicate layer. Change the duplicate layer settings again, just by double clicking on the gradient layer. Change the type, change the settings, click OK. You could also add patterns, you could also add solid fills. Once you're happy with all that, close the document and save. Close all the documents all the way back, saving the work. Once you've reached the end point, you can then apply different things such as image adjustments and much, much more. While you're going back, you can also tweak it in many different ways. You can add more copies of things. You can add maybe filter effects. You can add adjustments to it. You can add layer effects. You can tweak, transform and much, much more. To finish off the work, I want to recolor it a bit. I'm just going to go to the color lookup. So just go to image menu, adjustments and color lookup. There's a whole range of different color lookup LUT files. Just select one of those and then click OK. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, etc. So please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add a comment or two. Also, a dislike or like. Thank you much.